Okay, Neve, what are we doing down here? Hi, we are in Western Supermare today and we are building a giant donkey out of rubbish. So we bought a bag of things ready made and we've been adding some interesting additions that we found on the beach. Lots of people have been going out visiting. So we've got flip flops, there's a snorkel over there, ice cream wrappers. I found spades, which I was very chuffed with. We're here as part of Coventry City of Culture's Artist Rubbish campaign with an artist called Rob, who's also brought a bin down that was up there earlier on to collect rubbish in. And he's taking the rubbish back to uh, Coventry to build something that's going to be installed in an exhibition for Coventry City of Culture. If you're going to send a message, it has to be a little bit crazy, it has to be a, bit, a little bit bonkers. And I suppose one of the main reasons for doing it um, in the way that I've done it is to try and actually achieve achieve telling young people that art can be anything. And so many young people say, over the years, so many people have said to me, but art's rubbish, Rob, I don't get it. <laughs> so, so art can be rubbish too. So the whole idea really as well is to actually sort of like engage grab hold of those people's attention and say, do you know what, art could be anything. But if you have a bonkers idea, um, you can make it happen. Um, about five or six years ago, a donkey was built by an artist called Ali Allen. Um, who we used to work with that was just beloved to escape. It was built at the old birthday shop we used to be based there and then it came with us when we moved to the old slaughterhouse in 2015. And sadly, because the old slaughterhouse was right at the back of a very busy service yard, the Sainsbury's lorry reversed into Donkey one day and ran him over. No. Squashed him dead. So he's become a thing of escape legend. He appears in every escape quiz. There's photos of him everywhere. Um, so why the Donkey? We are bringing Donkey back to life. Um, but it also taps onto a project that we've done this summer called Plastic Planet, um, which is, again, we worked with nine local schools and Roz, who's over there somewhere, um, to build nine sculptures out of recycled material of endangered animals. And that's just been installed in the window space of Devon and of Stratford. Um, so it's a big part of our ethos and a big part of what we're doing this year, recycling and then reusing things to make plastic um, animals. 